family. I thought today, July 5th, was a great day to just kind of do a vlog. I am not going to worry about what a hot mess of crazy I look like. I just put a hat on it. That's how I deal with hair issues. Like, put a hat on it and it's like they're not even happening. So I got my Angry Birds hat on and I am gonna get my morning started. And I say morning and it's 1045 and I'm still kind of like, trying to get started. This is very unlike me and I feel uh, like a little bit crazy, but we had a big night yesterday. Um, it was Anthony's like party and fireworks display and we had such a good time. It was my mom's birthday and we got to hang out. Don't you love family and friends? Don't they just make life so good? I just, ugh, I love taking that time and just being together and just sitting down, relaxing and having some laughs, having some fun, certainly watching the fireworks was awesome. Anthony put on a very good display. But uh, as we're getting started today, the aftermath day, um, I'm starting with a lemon, or I guess limon, it's very fancy, limon zip fizz. I am going to go on a bike ride in a second, but I wanted to show you, because I was talking to somebody about like, um, you know, wearing tank tops and wearing bathing suits and how self-conscious like we can tend to be. And um, she was saying, well, I can see you wearing it because like you've lost the weight, but I want you to know like, I don't look awesome in a bathing suit necessarily. I want to show you. So I'm, I've got my bikini top on. So brace yourself, Effie. Here it comes. All right. I want you to see, look, look at all this loose skin I have, right? I can kind of do like an Ace Ventura, like, hello and welcome. You know, I'm, it's, it's for real. On the side, I've got a lot of loose skin. I do have um, a big scar. They had found um, some significant skin cancer in my side when I was young, but you know what? That scar means it's gone. I love it. You know what these like loose skin means? It means the fat rolls like are gone. The fat is out of it and, and the skin that's left is just what remains. So you know what? I like me. I like you. Let's not just like be so hung up on, on looking the greatest. I am not going to look like a bikini model, but I am going to be Rachel and I'm going to give her a break and we're just going to live this life, right? Like let's live this life. So um, I wanted to show you too, we had so much leftover meat from July 4th that I went ahead and made some meat says. So take a look at this. Yum. Look at all that delicious hamburger meat all sizzly. We had so much leftover hamburger meat that was thawed out. I figured I would just make some pizza preps. So these are all like using the pizza recipe that we have. I just went ahead and made up a big batch of the pizza base and then I just put them all into these little individual serving sizes and that way if they want to put them in a smart bun or they want to go ahead and top them with their favorite pizza toppings. The boys could just do that. They could just grab it and go as I tried to catch up with all of the household chewers. So that was pretty awesome. I doubled the pizza recipe, just the base, and it got me 24 little hamburgers. So now I can go on my bike ride. I was only like 12 minutes from like start to finish. And that's exactly how much of a budget I have for making lunch this afternoon, 12 minutes. Hello, sunshine. I love our little $2.50 mat and I love our driveway. We put out a whole bunch of little American flags. They're so cute. I'll probably never take them down now. They're just like adorable. You know what's not cute? Flat tires and I've got one. So yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of my day spent trying to get a new tire for my car and we don't have a spare. So yeah, it's gonna be super fun. All right, so I am ready to start my bike ride and I've got my little G Fuel container filled with the rest of my Zip Fizz, which is kind of hilarious because I cannot remember the last time we drank G Fuel. However, um, their container's awesome stuff inside not so much but even if you were at a thrift store and you run across one of these like little g fuel containers they're awesome like get them just not the drink put something else in it 
you guys have got to see these burrowing owls that live by my house. Like, look at them. Are they so stinking adorable? I can't stand it. Oh my gosh. So here's the thing though, they're endangered. And if you spot one, the like parks department comes out and makes these little like spaces for them. And basically now this land belongs to them. <laughs> So I don't know, this is a golf range by my house and I don't know if you can see like all of these little cordoned off little squares. I mean, they're sort of taking over this area. But like Caleb says, they're so cute. Just give it to them. Just give it all to them. Let them have all the land. But they were here second. Just give it to them. They're so cute. But yeah. <sighs> They're starting to kind of head our way and I'm really praying that they don't decide that our front yard looks delicious and fun and they want to build a home there. I'm very excited about my new sunglasses that um, I appropriated, no, like totally legally, from the Redmond table. They were giving away sunglasses and I go through sunglasses like water. Expensive sunglasses are a total waste for me because I'm gonna lose them. One time, Joe bought me some like really nice, like $200 sunglasses as like a birthday present or something. And yes, of course I lost those too. So we've learned our lesson and either use them from kid birthday parties or giveaways or buy them at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has some legitimately awesome sunglasses in a variety of styles and I love them. My mom is always out of sunglasses because if I'm anywhere near her stash of sunglasses, I also steal her Dollar Tree sunglasses. So here we are at this cute little park by my house. I totally grew up going to this park. It's like perfect for picnics. It's nice and shady, but lately it has been completely infested with iguanas. So I am just hoping don't see a bunch of iguanas while we are riding through here because they scare me in Florida it's actually legal to hunt them now and I'm really hoping that Joe's not got his sights set on participating in that I am so afraid I'm gonna come home from work and find a giant dead iguana in our sink with him trying to figure out how he's gonna clean it so hopefully that is not something in my future. So I am about halfway through my five mile bike ride and I have made it over to Broward College where Caleb is going to be going to school in the fall. And I just like coming over here morning, noon or night whenever I have the free time to ride my bike, whenever that bike ride has to happen because of whatever schedule is going on that day. I don't stress about it because I know that, you know, over the course of the time that Caleb will be here, he will probably have morning classes. He will probably be here during the afternoon and he will most likely have evening classes. So I like to come over to the campus and just pray while I am bike riding. So morning, noon or night, I love the opportunity to just pray through this whole campus just pray for, for him that he would make friendships while he's here that would, you know, just lift him up and make him feel cherished and also, you know, make friendships that will be friendships that give him good advice and just sage wisdom. I pray for the professors that he's going to have, um, that they would just be able to impart the knowledge and wisdom that they need to, because I really do want him to get the fullness out of the classes that he'll be taking. I pray that he will receive that knowledge, that he'll be able to retain it, not just for the, the tests that he's taking, but for life. I want him to hold on to that wisdom. And I just pray for his safety, like just everything. You know, you, your job as a mom, doesn't stop when the kids graduate from high school and I love that I still have 
an opportunity to um, be an influencer in his life. And I can't go to class with him. I wish I could, but I could not. I cannot. <laughs> um, but I can go before him and I can pray in the spaces that he'll be that uh, God will just make his way straight and that he will live in victory every day knowing that he's loved and cherished not just by me but by God who is so much more important than me and will have so much more of an impact in his future so it's an exciting time as a mom and I also like the fact that since he's going to Broward College there's a big public library that's right here also and you know that's open to the public and there's lots of kiddos that are taking their first steps learning how to read and such and so it gives me an opportunity to to pray for them that as they're learning how to read and learning new skills and you know starting to do research papers and they're going to the library to get the information they need I just like feel really blessed to to pray for the children in our local community that they would just be successful and that if there is a way that we can reach out to them and and bless their lives and encourage them like I want to do that so this is one of those signs where like I see it once and I'm like I will be happy to abide by this sign like absolutely I will totally stay away from swimming in this water. I don't wanna be running into alligators and snakes. Like, no problem. I am not gonna to try to be a rebel with this sign. Like, I'm gonna obey it. Yes, absolutely smurfly. Leave in the comments down below, is there a sign, like a funny sign in your area? Like, I don't know, like rocks falling on trucks or something that when you see that sign, you're like, yes, everyone needs to do this. Don't act the fool. Like just do what the sign says. So we're gonna just do what the sign says. I'm gonna move away from this space. We have finished our five mile bike ride. Thank you for not having me go on this particular bike ride by myself. I loved having you along and I'm gonna go home and take a much needed shower. I am such a product of the 90s that from a distance I saw my car on an angle and I started to get excited like, ooh, remember those cars that used to move from side to side and they had like neon underneath them and yeah, that's not what this is. This is totally just gotten home and jacked up my car because my car is jacked up. So looking forward to a new tire though. I wonder how cute it will look on me. I got a new tire. Look how beautiful and pretty and lovely it is. Honey, you got me a new tire. Yes, I got you. I actually got you four new tires. Merry Christmas. Yeah, ridiculous. But what happened was Rachel got a hole in the sidewall. Because I do tire. it right. Yeah, when she gets a flat tire, she doesn't just go easy and get a little nail in I it that I gold. can fix. Yeah, no. No, she gets a big hole in the side. But you needed new tires anyway. True. And the problem was that this car doesn't have a spare tire and it's not like we're being negligent or anything hyundai just decided that like to cut down on the weight so that like we can put get our better gas mileage on it we eliminated the spare tire but didn't going on keto help with the weight it got definitely <laughs> helped with the weight i think our gas mileage went up by like 10 miles a gallon by well, losing 100 pounds a piece each. yeah heck yes <laughs> So what ended up happening was is they just give you like this little like tire inflating thing But it doesn't help when you have a puncture on the side No. So I had to go up to the tire place and I was like hey listen this is gonna sound really bad I need four new tires But the problem is I can't drive the car because one of them is completely flat. There's no spare tire So can you like I they put one tire on the rim? I'll bring it home, I'll put it on the car, and then I'll bring you the car for the other three tires. So you asked to borrow a tire, like a cup of sugar? I offered to pay for all four up front, but I will say this, if you guys need tires, go to Tire Kingdom, because they were super nice. They're like, hey, listen, we'll put the tire on, like we have all your information, just go home, put it back on the car, bring the whole car back up. Thanks, Tire Kingdom. Yeah, so we got, it was like buy two, get two free, if you did like an alignment, which you needed an alignment yeah. anyway. I was driving all over the place. So it ended up costing us like $650 for four new tires with a year's worth of alignments. But now we're safe. Now we're safe, and we get $150 in like rebates back. I like that. Of course, it comes on those stupid credit cards where now you gotta figure out how am I gonna use the entire thing because 
Like you'll go and do like there's four dollars and thirty two cents left. Yeah, so it's like I just look at like where can I spend an entire seventy five dollars because if I put like seventy two dollars on it, you can't use the other three dollars. Well, the good news is when you buy big purchases like four tires at a time, seventy three dollars ain't nothing. Like <laughs> you can totally spend that all in one lump. But yeah, now we've got four new tires on your car. Yay! And so now, like, I want to go eat dinner, and I think we just need to sign off. No more blogging today. Yeah, we need so. some time away from the camera, at least a couple of hours. Well, now this. This day is starting to look up. Yes. So we hope your day is looking up too. Yeah, because when we came out to a flat tire, we were definitely a little miserable. A little sad. So I hope you are having a good day and I hope this is a great day for you. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed Rachel's vlog today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted yeah, to it. Yeah, because there are a lot of videos coming out. We have like two and three coming out a day for the next week. Yay! So until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.